we're getting ready to make some Mexican hominy. I'll put the recipe in the description below. Uh, we'll use one large onion. We'll be using four cans of golden hominy. We will be using one can, small can of tomato sauce, one can of rotel with chilies, green chilies, and one can of diced tomatoes. Oh, this is gonna be good. And one bell pepper, cut up. And uh, you wanna saute the onions first, then add in the rest of the ingredients. And I also added a small can of hatch chilies to this. So the first thing going in are these onions. We're gonna dice them up. We're gonna get them in the pan. We're gonna saute them and get them translucent before we add anything else. Okay, we finished dicing the onion. Now we're gonna start on the bell pepper, get that core out of there. And we'll get these kind of chopped up a little bit, nothing perfect, but it's gonna give some good taste to this Mexican hominy. When we went on vacation, we went to North Carolina and my niece there asked if I've made Mima's Mexican hominy. And I said, well, I don't know if I got the recipe for her hominy, our Mexican hominy. She happened to have it, so that's the reason we're making this Mexican hominy. I've always loved this, and she said she loved it. So we're doing this. We're making mom's Mexican hominy like she used to make it. Now, the thing about it, you can always add in other things. You can add meat to it if you want to. You add in what you want to make it the way you like it because that's what recipes are about. You make it the way you like it. Now we're adding in four cans of hominy. And we'll stir it around on that first can and then we'll start adding the others. And now we're going to add the bell pepper to it. And give it a little stir. Now we're adding in one can of diced tomatoes, one can of rotel with green chilies. Now we'll get this mixed in a bit. And now we add a small can of tomato sauce. Trying to get every last drop out of that can. And we're gonna mix that in. Get it mixed in pretty well there. And we're gonna bring this to a simmer. Now, as I said, I added a little extra. I added a small can of hatch chilies. They're mild, but you can add whatever heat you want to it. If you like it hot, then make it hot. Now we let it simmer for around 15 to 20 minutes. And as it simmers and cooks, it'll get thicker, making it perfect. Now it's time to dip some out. Hey, we're gonna give this a try. <laughs> I can't wait. Now it's taste test time. Mm. 
Now that brings back memories. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.